Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, you know that uh, Vladimir Putin had that little speech yesterday on Wednesday morning, and he uh, said that he's going to have a small little uh, mobilization and uh, about up to 300,000 people. Um, now the Ukrainians claim that there's a hidden paragraph over there which allows Putin to actually, Putin, you know, um, n recruit not only uh, up to 300,000, but up to a million. Well, let's see what these guys are yapping around here. This article comes from Ukraine's Kapravda from September 22nd, 2022. Hidden paragraph of Putin's decree allows to mobilize one million Russians. This is to scare the Russians, obviously, but let's, let's read. The hidden seventh paragraph of Russian president's decree on partial mobilization allows the Ministry of Defense of Russia to mobilize one million people as some source in Vladimir Putin's administration informed Novaya Gazeta, Europe news outlet. I think that little uh, um, decree, that they call it decree or whatever it is, uh, it's public and I think you can read it. It's not something hidden. But nevertheless, let's go with these guy, guys and see how they want to create panic in Russia. After all, they're at war with them, so <laughs> why not? A source of the outlet said that initially they had discussed clarifying, classifying the entire decree. Later, they had decided to leave the, the for official use mark only in the seventh paragraph, where the number of those who would be, who would be mobilized was written. So that means uh, it's just the public one is without a seventh paragraph. These guys say it is, but you can't read it. Only we got the information. Well, as, I'm, as far as I'm concerned, it's not there because you just say it. I don't know if it's there or not. It's like, for instance, I come and say, guys, I got some news. I got some information from a uh, secret source. I can't disclose the source because it's top secret. Okay, because due to, due to confidentiality reasons, I can't. And I give you something like crazy, that information I give you, I can declassify that actually. It's top secret and I can't tell you the source. I can't tell you anything, but I can tell you what happened. And I'm just making all kinds of, uh, you know, statements based on that. And you're supposed to believe me. This is what CIA does and FBI. Well, be careful, a new attack. Be careful this, but we can't tell you who told us. We can't tell you anything else, but be careful. Be scared right there. No, 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 it doesn't work that way. No, because like that, you can tell me anything you want. And in the name of that, anything you told me based on anything you want, you can infringe my rights. I disagree with that. So these guys say this kind of things, like, well, it's a uh, anonymous, you know, uh, they can't say it, who and how we got it, but it's there, it's there. But it's only that paragraph. You can view the whole decree, but the seventh paragraph is just cropped out. Really, really, it might be, but I know how other things work under the name of confidentiality and top secret. And, uh, you know, we're not gonna disclose it. Well, uh, like you go in court and uh, they ask you something and say, no, 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 I didn't do that because I have, have witnesses that they, they vouch for me, but I can't bring the witnesses due to the confidentiality issues and uh, all that anonymity, anonymity. Really? And that should be, okay, Mr. Cosman, that's good. You are just absolved of your crime, just go. Really? It doesn't work that way. You know, if you say something, you have to prove it. You can't just hide, you know, I'm a very important person here. And uh, this information is just between, you know what I mean? And uh, the, I can't tell you who told me and how I found out and so on, but this is what they said. And I can make up whatever story I want to make up. All right. I'm not saying that's the way it is, but pay attention to these kind of things if you didn't uh, already. And I'm quoting, the number was changed several times, but in the end they stopped at a million, the source clarified. The news outlet also tried to reach out to executive bodies for confirmation of this information as they usually receive full text of president's, president's decrees. Full text of president's decrees, including those for official use. According to the source, in a few ministries, they have not received the full version of the decree and they are not able to see it in a system of inter-ministerial document management because probably it's not there. Nobody can see it but Putin. Someone must be. 
be able to see it. And let's go like this. Let's, let's agree that that's not 1 million. Let's say it's 50 million. He has the authority to do that. So let's say it's 50. It's 5 billion Russians, okay? He has the authority to do that. If he determines that, what? So what if it's 1 million, 3 million, 20 million, or 300,000? You know what I mean? What's the big, oh my God, it's a secret. After all, if the president decrees full mobilization, that's full mobilization. He has the authority, probably with you no know, with uh, certain departments after he consults and so on. They have the authority. So I don't, I don't understand what is wrong with uh, one million. Oh my God, it's a secret. The Russians, you can all be, uh, tomorrow could be just uh, mobilized. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. To defend your country. You say, well, well, you invaded. Okay, let's say they're losing. What are they supposed to lose? Everything? But the problem is they're going to decree, right? The referenda is going to occur in those uh, liberated territories, right? From Ukraine. They go back to Russia, as they, the Russians claim, right? And if you looked at history, <clears throat> they might have a point. Uh, I don't want to upset the Ukrainians, but, you know, I need uh, Bukovina back. Yeah, Kishino. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one too. And the south of uh, Moldova, where Odessa area is, you know, not Odessa, but you know that that part from that so-called Republic of Moldova, the fake country, go down south and all that back to Romania. I want that, okay? Because that was not you. I want Galicia to go back to someone else. Remember, Galicia? Mm -hmm. Crimea already went because you receive it from uh, <coughs> Nikita. Remember in fifties four or something like this after Stalin. So anyway, it's a lot of uh, things that we can talk about it. Uh, in, in the meantime, it's just, uh, you know, the Russians will have that referenda. That will be part of Russia. And when that's going to be attacked, continue, the Ukrainians obviously will want those territories taken, not the people. They don't want to be with Ukraine. There's a problem when they say, um, Ukraine will liberate you guys. We're going to liberate. No, it's not going to liberate anybody. It's, not, it's going to take territories. The people over there don't want to be liberated by Ukraine. Some want, because it's not unanimity, obviously, but the majority don't. So wh who are you liberating? A minority? Well, you can't do that. Otherwise, you will liberate Kosovo from, uh, you know, from Albanians and you would give it back to uh, Serbia, right? Because you have a minority of Serbs over there. The same here. If you liberate it for your Ukrainians living in those territories, then you should go and uh, revise the Kosovo thing. I know it's not very popular with certain people, but, but you know, truth doesn't uh, you know, care about your feelings and your gut feelings or whatever feelings. It is what it is. You, you, can, you, can, you can have your feelings, but you can't have your facts. All right. So um, the thing is, they're going to have that. And then when the Ukraine is going to attack, motherland is attacked. Guys, everybody, 24 million, let's go. They could do that. Yeah. Again, that's a prerogative of the president and consultation and so on. What do you want? I mean, it's oh, they have a million and they didn't say it. What's the big deal, you weasels? First, you didn't prove the veracity of that uh, uh, statements, the truth, the reality, the existence. And even if it is, pff, so thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.